What's up everybody? Oh man, there we go, now it's a little more stable. So look, I know I haven't done a rodent coil update video, and there's purposes for that, and the, the main purpose for that is that I've been working really hard for a really long time, and I've done a bunch of stuff, and I've accomplished all the goals that I wanted to achieve, and now I'm just in the experimental phase. So you can see there's a capacitor bank back there, and there's just rodent coils over here and over there, and you can't see them, it's too dark in here, but basically what I'm telling you is, is I worked really hard and I replicated what I want. If you want to see those videos, you need to go watch the full length recorded live streams, everything's in there. And I'm, I don't have the time to put together this amazing video and all the little snippets, and I just, I just haven't had time. So basically, I've seen the overunity phenomenon, as I'm calling it, and I will post a picture right now of that phenomenon of measuring the LC circuit versus the input. And you can see right there, you can read these values, okay? So, like I said, I've achieved my goals. I've created ozone, um, but now I'm in the experimental stage. And I told you I was going to take that microwave oven transformer uh, inverter, microwave oven inverter, and connect it to this rodent coil. And I've done just that. So what I want to show you right now is that this coil is open-ended. There's nothing connected to the, the output right here. And I've got it connected to the inverter, which is sort of a self-tuning, self-adjusting to load and frequency and, co and capacitance and inductance, and it sort of adjusts it. So this coil is completely open, the secondary. The primary is shorted uh, in parallel and connected right to the inverter board. I have a variable uh, control transformer here that's sitting at about 50 volts. I'll just put it at 60 so we can say it's at 60. I do not have any current measuring at the moment because I don't need to. It's on a 15 amp breaker though. Uh, the lights are just sitting here for the moment. What I want to demonstrate is the ozone that this puts out. So I have here adjustment of duty cycle. This is basically power output in wattage, basically. So if I adjust this to a higher value, it goes up and lower and goes down. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off all the lights, and I'm going to show you the crazy output of ozone. Um, the ozone occurs on the secondary, not on the primary input. Okay? So it's on this coil that's open. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off all of the lights. Here we go. Doot. Now, I hope this this works. Here we go. Turning it on now. There you go. So let me try it again. So I'm going to turn on the output power. I'm going to turn it up. That is cool. I don't want to burn the insulation, so I don't want to do it too much. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to 40% of output. Check it out. I mean, that is freaking cool. All right, I'm going to 50%. Let's see if it kicks it. Oh, yeah. See, we're starting to break down things. And I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> That's so cool. It's, it's the, 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 it's, I haven't yet got it to put out that much ozone by tuning it myself. So this driving circuit is amazing. Here we go again. Get you a, a 3D visual here. Look at that. That is just amazing. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let me turn the lights back on. I'm actually going to step out of this room. I've got a fan blowing in this space because it's small, and that is a crap ton of ozone. It'll make you sick. So anyway, uh, in case you're wondering, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back down to 10%. Again, I've done all this tuning manually, but this, this is freaking perfect for this application. And it doesn't have all the safeties built into it like the inverters for induction cookers. That would be the other second really nice thing to use. Um, but yeah. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here's the other one. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just show you what the output looks like with these LEDs connected. So I'm at 60 volts, I'm at 10% duty cycle, here we go. Ta-da! Now you hear it buzzing, and I don't 
I do not like that buzzing sound. I'm going to turn the input voltage down to about 55 volts and try it again. So, that that buzzing noise bothers me. Um, I can get that much light output tuning it manually and I'm not worried about it. Um, by the way, the output voltage measured here is about 2.5 kilovolts peak to peak. I'll go ahead and just show you that since I've got it connected. That's with it turned down, of course. This is with it on its minimal amount. So it's at its minimal amount. If I drop lower than this voltage, it will not work. So I have to have that much input voltage. So let's go ahead and measure the output voltage peak to peak at 10% duty cycle input. So it's, it's all the minimal amount of power that I can put into this system. So here we go. Oh yeah, I gotta turn that way up. Uh huh. So I'm gonna turn this up to 500 volts uh, per division. And go ahead and tune this in. So that's what the signal looks like. Turn this off. You can see the, the, the output peak to peak voltage is really kind of going crazy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this. Oh, that's why. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm not too concerned about the oscilloscope right now. I'm not measuring power. I've done all that, like I said. And I just wanted to show you the amazing plasma via the uh, ozone being created. And it's still pretty strong in here. So I'm going to call it a, a call it quits with uh, this camera. Let this room air out for a couple of minutes and then... Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. But anyway, this is all on the live stream. You can go watch it at rwgresearch.com forward slash live. I've been doing this for weeks on end in the morning and in the night and all over the place. So, there you go. I'm going to disconnect the oscilloscope. It's so crazy because this is just in series. And it's open. So it's just the oscillation in the coil itself. It's pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, and show you the plasma and I'll, I'll end on that note with the plasma again because I think it's amazing. Not amazing, but it's freaking cool. I'll go back up to like 60, 40%. <laughs> uh, Alright, God bless you guys. Have a good day. I've been playing with the rodent coil for a while now. Man, that's a beautiful sight right there. I have been working hard on this project. Look, it goes all the way out the end, all the way to the end of the wires. It's just crazy. All right, peace and love, guys.